Welcome to the Saginaw Firefighters Award Ceremony. My name is Terry Camp from ABC 12 News. Thanks again for being here on such a, an important ceremony. I think it's just great that we're here to honor some of these men and women that do, do uh, such great things each and every day. And now for our invocation, Saginaw Fire Department Chaplain Bill Howard. Good morning. I stand before you uh, very proud to be here, uh, part of the over 150 year history of the Saginaw Fire Department. I usually read scripture, uh, Psalm 91, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I've been, I want to obey what the Lord has laid on my heart for this morning. Will the members of Saginaw Fire Department please rise? Although we don't have possibly all the 50 here, I'd like to have you join with me and give an applause for their service, for their dedication, for their daily laid, their life on the line for you and I. Psalm 37 is written and says, Do not fret because of evil men, or be envious of those who wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither. Like green plants, they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, and he will do this. He will make your righteousness shine like the dawn the justice of your cause like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when men succeed in their ways, when they carry out the wicked schemes. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret, it leads only to evil. For evil men will be cut off but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. A little while, and the wicked will be no more. Though you look for them, they will not be found, but the meek will inherit the land and enjoy great peace. The wicked plot against the righteous and gnash their teeth at them, but the Lord laughs at the wicked. He knows their day is coming. The wicked draw the sword and bend the bow to bring down the poor and needy, to slay those who weigh, whose ways are upright. But their swords will pierce their own hearts, and their bows will be broken. Better the little that the righteous have than the wealth of many wicked for the power of the wicked will be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The days of the blameless are known to the Lord, and their inheritance will endure forever. In times of disaster, they will not wither. In days of famine, they will enjoy plenty, but the wicked will perish. The Lord's enemies will be like the beauty in the fields. 
They will vanish, vanish like smoke. The wicked borrow and do not repay, but the righteous give generously. Those, those the Lord blesses will inherit the land, but those he curses will be cut off. If the Lord delights in a man's way, he makes his steps firm. Though he stumble, he may not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. I was young, and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken. Or their children beg bread. They're always generous and lend freely. Their children will be blessed. Turn from evil and do good. Then you will dwell in the land forever. For the Lord loves the just and will not forsake his faithful, his faithful ones. They will be protected forever, but the offspring of the wicked will be cut off. The righteous will inherit the land and dwell in it forever. The mouth of the righteous man utters wisdom, and his tongue speaks what is just. The law of his God is in his heart. His feet do not slip. The wicked lie in wait for righteousness, seeking their very lives. But the Lord will not let them, will not leave them in their power, or let them condemn when brought to trial. Wait for the Lord and keep his way. He will exalt you to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, you will see it. I have seen a wicked and ruthless man flourishing like a green tree in its native soil. But he soon passed away and was no more. Though I looked for him, he could not be found. Consider the blameless, observe the upright. There is a future for the man of peace. But all sinners will be destroyed. The future of the wicked will be cut off. The salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in the time of trouble. The Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. Amen and amen. Father God, when we gather, when we gather together and we use your name, in your name, for this purpose, you are in our presence, dear Lord, and we thank you. We thank you for the people that attend this morning, that you gave them safe travels here to partake of this ceremony, to honor and give, and give our thanks. Our thoughts are drawn also to our servicemen and women serving abroad and here in our United States, making sure we have peace, peace here and abroad. Protect them, Father, and protect our land. Give blessings to those who are here today abundantly. We give you all the praise and thanks, Father God, in Jesus' name, amen. Bill, thank you so much. For the proclamation and certificate of special congressional recognition, Saginaw Mayor Greg Branch. Good morning. A proclamation from the city of Saginaw. Whereas in 2010, one home structure fire was reported every 65 seconds. And whereas in 2010, U.S. fire departments responded to 369,500 home structure fires, these fires caused 13,350 civilian injuries, 2,640 civilian deaths, and $6.9 billion in direct damages. And whereas almost two-thirds of reported home fire deaths resulted from fires in homes with no smoke alarms, or no working smoke alarms, and whereas only one-third of Americans have both developed and practiced a home fire escape plan, 
And whereas home fire escape plans should be created in every household and practiced twice a year, and whereas having smoke alarms can cut the chances of dying in a fire in half, and whereas the Saginaw Fire Department provides and installs smoke alarms free of charge to Saginaw residents, and whereas the 2012 Fire Prevention Week theme, Have Two Ways Out, effectively serves to remind us all of the simple actions that we can take to improve awareness and increase protection from fires every day. Now, therefore, I, Greg Branch, Mayor of the City of Saginaw, do hereby proclaim October 7th through 13th, 2012, as Fire Prevention Week throughout the City of Saginaw. And I urge all residents of this city to protect their homes and families by heeding the important safety messages of Fire Prevention Week 2012 and to support the many public safety activities and efforts of the City of Saginaw's Fire and Emergency Services. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the City of Saginaw to be affixed this 24th day of September in the year of our Lord, 2012. Greg Branch, Mayor, Council Members Dennis Browning, Mayor Pro Tem, Annie Bench, Norman Braddock, Larry Caloris, Daniel Fitzpatrick, Floyd Clock, Amos O'Neill, and Andrew Wendt. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. And now for a recognition of guests and remarks, Training Safety Officer Anna Lee Aguilar. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Terry. I'd like to thank all of you for attending our ceremony today. Recognition for our distinguished guests is in order at this time. Please stand and be recognized when I call your name. And if I could request that everyone please hold your applause until all dignitaries and special guests are recognized, this will help us remain on schedule. Also, if I haven't called your name when I'm finished, uh, please stand, um, just in case we may have missed someone. And again, I apologize. Um, Mayor Greg Branch. Councilman Larry Caloris. Councilman Dan Fitzpatrick. Assistant City Manager of Public Safety, Phil Ludos. From Congressman Kildee's office, Mr. Jacob Bennett, Representative Walt Rathbun, Mr. Joseph Gretza from the Office of Firefighter Training, Mr. Josh Mosier, Midland Fire Department, Chief Jim Peterson from Saginaw Township, Chief Alan Molesky from Cotchville, Barry Nelson, Tom McIntyre, and I believe I saw Vicki Stewart here from 911, Ann Doyle, County Commissioner, and anyone else that I did not call, please rise. We have several objectives for today's ceremony. We'd like to recognize Fire Prevention Week and the importance that fire safety education plays in saving lives. We want to recognize individuals in our community, and we also would like to recognize our firefighters. Foremost, we wish to acknowledge that Fire Prevention Week and make everyone aware of the fire safety issues and stress the importance to the entire community that we must work together to prevent fires. This year's theme is Have Two Ways Out. We've included some tips on how to do so in your programs. Secondly, this morning, we would like to acknowledge courageous individuals, both members of the Saginaw Fire Department and citizens of the community outside of the fire service. Their actions in some way has resulted in making Saginaw a better place to live and reflect some of the positive aspects of our great city. After all, our greatest assets are always our people. Third, we would like to pay tribute to and honor Saginaw firefighters. It is through these dedicated individuals that the Saginaw Fire Department will achieve success in our mission. These individuals are firefighters, leaders in the community who possess attributes such as selflessness, moral courage, and personal character. They adorn their uniform with many insignia that represents these such qualities. The Maltese Cross is a firefighter's badge of honor, signifying that he or she works courageously only a step or ladder rung away from death. Therefore, we will pay tribute to and honor Saginaw firefighters who, in the line of duty, serving others, gave the ultimate sacrifice their life. May God bless each and every one of you, and thank you again for taking time out of your busy schedules to be with us this morning. And God bless the servicemen and women that are not here with us. And now, from uh, WJRT TV 12, I'll turn the program back over to our very own Terry Camp. Thanks, Anna. And now for some uh, remarks, Assistant City Manager for Community Public Safety, Phil Ludos. I just want to thank again, and it's been reiterated, and it'll probably be said again, the fact that your appearance here today means a lot to the men and women who are seated over here. 
One of the things I think that takes place way too frequently is that those that serve government sometimes are expected to perform a function and yet it's very difficult to, to say thank you. We may do it because we say, well, that is their job, but these award ceremonies are important. They're extremely important. I thank Terry for being here this morning. I know he has done this traditionally for a while, long before I arrived here. In January of 2011, when I arrived as the Assistant City Manager for Public Safety, there were 68 firefighters in this organization. As you heard Bill say this morning, and I want to thank Bill because he and I have gotten to know each other as we've crossed paths at a variety of churches in the Saginaw area. And when he says that some, the Lord put something on his heart, I appreciate that he does that and what he, the service he gives to these men and women here. But the, the reality of it is, is that these 50 that are here continue every day to be dedicated to this community. And one of the things that I'm greatly appreciative of is the professional manner in which they continue to daily do their activities. I interact with them on a variety of roles, but I have to compliment the leadership, and particularly the leadership of IAFF, in how they have approached many of the crises that face this city. We're not past our crisis, but I want to uh, tell you how honored I am to even participate in this ceremony. The annual awards ceremony for the Saginaw Police De or Fire Department is, is important. In 1858, and as you see in front of me on the podium, 150 years of service. We're now at 154. On your way out of here today, I think it's important that you look back at the mission statement that hangs over the wall of the entrance back there. And I think you need to realize that these men and women every day live up to that mission statement that's on that back wall. And because of their service, those of you who reside in this community and who visit Saginaw are kept safe on a daily basis, um, whether it be a vehicle accident, a structure fire, a rescue. Um, the other day I heard them go out. Um, I wondered where all the trucks were. I was over here and they said, oh, they're over at the county building. There's somebody stuck in an elevator. And you, go, and you don't realize the little things that some of us would consider little things like rescuing somebody in an elevator. I'm sure the people in that elevator didn't think it was a little thing. Um, for those of you that ride in those structures and get trapped in between floors, think about claustrophobic that would be. So they formed a tradition here, and that tradition has traveled 154 years. The men and women who serve in this department are proud of what they do and committed to the service that they proudly maintain. It is, I believe, important to have award ceremonies to recognize the achievements of these men and women. Too often, as I said, in government service, we're expected to perform in a certain way, but it's so easy to walk up and just say thank you. When you see them out and about in the community, a simple thank you for your service. And I've learned to do that with men and women in the armed forces, um, having a son who served 25 years as an Army Ranger. I think it's important that we serve and we honor those people by just saying thank you to every one of them that we are able to do that. Their job, when it's done, they do it with pride. I've watched this group of men and women hold their heads high in every manner that I've seen them, whether it's on a fire scene, whether it's at an award ceremony, whether it's at a negotiations. They are proud of who they are and of the intelligence and the professionalism that they bring to the fire service. As the biggest career fire department in Saginaw County, they have both experience and expertise. The mayor, in reading his proclamation, talked about structure fires. We're quickly approaching 200 structure fires in Saginaw, in the city. If you think about that, those are structure fires that there's not another fire department in the immediate area, and we rank as one of the highest in the United States. So the men and women who step out every day, and I think Anna said it, she said only a ladder rung away from a disaster, and they never question what they do for the citizens of the city of Saginaw. 
As they go out each day, never knowing if they'll return to their families, they again do it because of their dedication and their commitment to the citizens of Saginaw. Although we'll recognize a chosen few today for their efforts and include some civilians who also stepped up to the call, we cannot forget that this is a department of 50 men and women who care and whom all daily serve this community. I'm honored to be able to participate in this event, to be able to share with you a few words, but more importantly, I'm honored to be the person who gets to oversee such a professional group of people in their efforts to keep the city of Saginaw safe every day. I thank you again for being here, and my thanks to the men and women for your service. Thank you very much. Terry? We're going to start. Uh, this is the uh, Saginaw Fire Department Special Recognition Award. Saginaw Fire Department, uh, this award is presented by members of the department, private organizations, or other government entities wishing to pay tribute to individuals who have displayed exceptional service during the course of their duties, resulting in the enhancement of image, service, or professionalism of the Saginaw Fire Department, or have made a positive impact on the department or community. The Saginaw Fire Department recognizes this photographer for her devotion, cooperation, and exceptional service in providing professional photography, extending, exp expending her time and helping to keep our public images of current employees up to date. She has given her time, professional talents, freely on numerous occasions to assist our department. She has demonstrated, her, her demonstrated support is greatly appreciated and hereby recognized. The Saginaw Fire Department is honored to present photographer Jennifer McDonald for the Saginaw Fire Department Special Service Award. Jennifer of McDonald Photography, too. I wanted to get the name in there. The Saginaw Fire Department recognizes this photographer for the hundreds of award-winning photos he has taken, his constant professionalism, positive attitude, and his willingness to provide our department with photos, retirement collages, and amazing images that we will continue to utilize and treasure during our public and community events. Your demonstrated support is greatly appreciated and hereby recognized. The Saginaw Fire Department honored to present photographer Steve Frank, the Saginaw Fire Department Special Service Award. Steve's not here, but we'll get that award to him. Certificate of Recognition is presented to fire officers, firefighters, and citizens who have provided a service through unselfish efforts that was a benefit to the fire service or an improvement in fire safety for the citizens of Saginaw. Certificate of Recognition Recognizing the need for working smoke, smoking detectors in homes, St. John's Lutheran Church stepped forward and donated smoke detectors to the fire department so that they could be installed for city of Saginaw residents. Through assistance from our community partner, partners, these financial challenges have been reduced. For their thoughtful consideration and generosity, the Saginaw Fire Department is proud to present St. John's Lutheran Church this certificate of recognition and accepting the award George Pike. <laughs> also recognized in the need for working smoke detectors in homes, Morley has also come forward to donate smoke detectors to the fire department so that they could be installed for city of Saginaw residents. Again, our financial challenges have been reduced through assistance from our corporate partners. For their thoughtful consideration and generosity, the Saginaw Fire Department is proud to present Morley this certificate of recognition in accepting Alexis Thomas. Certificate of Recognition. During a recent heavy rain, the Saginaw Fire Department Station 1 suffered flooding in the basement due to a malfunction of the sump pump. Home Depot generously donated a sump pump to the Saginaw Fire Department, thus reducing damage caused by the flooding. For their kindness and generosity, the Saginaw Fire Department is proud to present Home Depot this Certificate of Recognition and accepting the award, Cindy Buda. Over the years, the members of the Saginaw Fire Department have had to repeatedly respond to the same structures multiple times for arson. Each of these vacant fires usually has increased chances of collapse. This, of course, increases injury and accidents of Saginaw Fire Department members due to the conditions of dilapidated structures. As a result, we have partnered with the Building Inspections Division to better facilitate enforcement of the City of Saginaw Dangerous Building Ordinance. 
Through this relationship, we have been able to expedite the demolition process of these dangerous structures in a timelier manner, thus minimizing the risk of injury to the Saginaw Fire Department members and City of Saginaw residents. For their willingness and unselfish cooperation, the Saginaw Fire Department is proud to present John Stemple, Darren Jerome, and Scott Crowfoot this certificate of recognition. The Saginaw Fire Department Honor Guard was established in 2011. The Honor Guard is a shining star in our organization and it represents the pride and professionalism of the dedicated men and women of the Saginaw Fire Department. Through countless hours of practice, personal sacrifice, and staunch dedication to perfection, the members of the Saginaw Fire Department Honor Guard have established themselves as a highly skilled unit ready to serve when called upon. For their dedication and professional commitment, it is with great privilege that the members of the Saginaw Fire Department Honor Guard, who are retired Captain Juan Urlis, Engineer Chedrick Green, who is currently deployed, Engineer Sean Beach, Engineer Michael Campbell, Engineer Gary McDonald, Firefighter Rob Gooch, Firefighter David Gallagher, and Firefighter Lee Osborne are presented this certificate of recognition. We move on to the service award, which is presented to fire officers and firefighters that have achieved a total of 20, 25, 30, 35, or 40 years of service to the Saginaw Fire Department. Presented for 20 years of service, firefighter Jeffrey Starling. We move on to the unit citations. A unit citation is presented to a team of Saginaw Fire Department personnel that consists of at least two companies that distinguish themselves by their coordinated effort that significantly impacts the final outcome of the emergency operation. On the evening of February 3rd, 2012, fire crews responded to 627 South 11th Street for a structure fire with victims trapped on the second floor. Upon arrival, fire companies found heavy smoke coming from the first and second floor. Due to the timely and coordinated effort of all personnel on the scene, the victim was located and evacuated from this life-threatening situation. The Saginaw Fire Department is proud to present this unit citation to retired Battalion Chief Maurice Patterson, retired Lieutenant Tyrone Ward, Lieutenant Sean Wilkins, Lieutenant Eric Krentz, Lieutenant William Lockhart, Engineer Gary Lawton, Engineer Gary McDonald, Firefighter Eric DeLugas, Firefighter Daniel Maldonado, Firefighter Rob Gooch, Firefighter Lee Osborne, Firefighter John Kartz, and retired Firefighter Robert O'Kelly, and Firefighter Jeffrey Starling. We're going to uh, jump to a meritorious service award, which is presented to fire officers, firefighters, and uniformed emergency service personnel in recognition of their valiant efforts and decisive actions that greatly reduce the loss of life or property during an emergency situation. On the same evening of February 3rd, 2012, and at the same incident at South 11th, crews responded for a structure fire with victims trapped on that second floor, and upon arrival, Station 1 companies found heavy smoke coming from the first and second floor. Engineer August Elias and Lieutenant Scott Yaw immediately entered the structure and battled heavy fire on the first floor in order to access the stairwell. Amid the heat and smoke, both Elias and Yaw ascended the stairway to reach the victim, who was trapped in the first bedroom. Together, they secured the victim and evacuated him to safety where CPR was administered. The Saginaw Fire Department proud to present Engineer August Elias and Lieutenant Scott Yaw with this meritorious service award for their courageous and decisive actions to save a citizen from a life-threatening situation. <laughs> Unit citation, in the late evening hours of July 18, 2012, a shift fire companies were dispatched to a commercial structure fire at West Side Decorating on State Street. Upon arrival, they found heavy smoke and flames visible through the roof. Crews from Truck 2 and Engineer 4 initiated a quick and aggressive fire attack. The fire was quickly extinguished and contained to the room of origin. 
Their swift actions prevented further damage to the building. The Saginaw Fire Department proud to present Lieutenant Paul Lightfoot, Lieutenant Eric Krentz, Lieutenant James Foreman, Engineer Tate Jarzuski, Firefighter Dan Maldonado, and Firefighter Brandon Hosbeck with a unit citation. Certificate of Merit. In the early afternoon of March 21st, 2012, Retired Fire Marshal Greg Barton was notified that a man had fallen from the roof of a nearby building at 126 North Weddock Avenue, which is located just around the corner from Station 1. The Fire Marshal alerted Engine 1 and Truck 1 and responded to the scene on foot. While responding, he had Saginaw Central Dispatch notify MMR and dispatch an ambulance. The crews from Station 1 found the patient face down on the sidewalk. The patient had severe head and face injuries as a result of the fall. Crews rolled the patient over and found that he was not breathing and did not have a pulse. The crews began CPR and stabilized the patient until MMR arrived. Through their efforts, the patient's vital signs returned. Through their quick actions, the Saginaw Fire Department would like to present retired Fire Marshal Greg Barton, retired Battalion Chief Maurice Patterson, retired Captain Henry Lanfear, Engineer Gary McDonald, Engineer August Elias, Engineer Tate Jarzuski, Firefighter Eric DeLugos, and Firefighter Lee Osborne with this Certificate of Merit. The uh, Saginaw Fire Department Special Recognition Award is presented by the fire department, private organizations, or other government entities wishing to pay tribute to individuals who have displayed exceptional service during the course of their duties which have resulted in the enhancement of image, service, or professionalism of the Saginaw Fire Department. The Saginaw Fire Department command staff recognize your devotion, cooperation, and initiative shown in serving the Saginaw Fire Department. Your efforts in reducing fire department expenditures are hereby recognized. Your personal dedication and willingness to assume a special assignment is greatly appreciated and has been invaluable. The Saginaw Fire Department is honored to present Engineer David Rose and Firefighter Brad Luchak the Saginaw Fire Department Special Recognition Award. It is time for our Firefighter of the Year Award. It is presented to fire officers and firefighters who have exhibited an attitude of unselfish cooperation, obvious devotion to duty, a willingness to contribute a little extra, and who has set a good example for others both on and off duty. Throughout his career, but this battalion chief has exemplified leadership and professionalism in the execution of his duties. The past year at the Saginaw Fire Department has been one of unknowns and unprecedented change. During this time, the members of the department have looked to this person for his consistent leadership to help guide them through this uncertain time. In his career with the Saginaw Fire Department, he has always delivered in this leadership role. In 2006, he secured a FEMA grant of over $200,000 to replace the entire complement of the department's self-contained breathing apparatus. In that same year, he was able to coordinate with the Michigan Department of Transportation the installation of a new traffic signal in front of the fire station located on Gratiot Avenue. For his unwavering dedication and commitment to high professional standards, the Saginaw Fire Department is proud to present Battalion Chief Christopher Van Lu, the Firefighter of the Year Award for 2012. I'm truly honored and humbled to receive this award. First, I'd like to thank my mother uh, for preparing me to face life's challenges and instilling a work ethic in me <clears throat> that is still with me. Thank you for everything, Mom. I love you. Uh, next, I'd like to thank my family, my wife, Erin, my son, Aiden, my son, Connor, and my son, Nolan. You've always supported me, I appreciate it. Whether it's the holidays away from home, the nights away from home, or the missed school functions. You've always understood and supported me, thank you. 
even on those mornings when I come home and it may be a little hard to handle, hard to deal with, just being up all night. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'd like to thank the members that are of the fire department that I work with, the men and women of the Saginaw Fire Department, <clears throat> for professionalism, professionalism and dedication to the community. Through all that we have faced, the financial challenges, <clears throat> you have risen to the challenge and overcome many obstacles. Through it all, you continue to answer the bell with pride and honor. Thank you. Finally, I'd like to thank the citizens of the City of Saginaw for supporting your Saginaw Fire Department. You have one of the finest fire departments in the nation. I am honored and very fortunate to be part of it. Thank you all. And now, with a certificate and flag presentation, I'd like to introduce the Deputy District Director for Congressman Dale Kildee. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that we would like to present. Terry Kemp has been uh, our MC for many years. Um, he served as our Master of Ceremonies for Saginaw Fire Department's Annual Awards Ceremony. Mr. Kemp has donated freely his time and talents toward making each year's ceremony a success. His sincerity, professionalism, and charisma are all qualities that have lent themselves toward making Terry an outstanding Master of Ceremonies and a great friend of the Saginaw Fire Department. For his commitment to the community and his unselfish service to the Saginaw Fire Department, we are pr proud to present Terry Camp with the Saginaw Fire Department Special Recognition Award. Thank you, Terry. Uh, thank, thank you so much, Donna. That was so nice. It's a, it's a privilege to do this. And uh, just a quick note, uh, of course, working with the media, we're not always welcome, it seems. And when we go, we have to cover just fires. <laughs> just, just me. <laughs> I was going to make a, uh, another joke there, but uh, as far as when we go on a scene and uh, we're, a, lot of, a lot is going on, you heard what's going on here through some of this, uh, the, the, the excitement of, of the situation as far as rushing to a person, rushing to a person in need, and after it, when we arrive, all the firefighters are so uh, pleasant to deal with. Uh, no one's ever really said, get out of here, get away. They say, we'll, we'll get to you in just a second. And it's just... You're always a, a great fire department to deal with, and uh, I really appreciate that. The media appreciates that, and I think I speak for Eric Horn from TV5 here and the, the Saginaw News and everyone else. It's just a great fire department, so thank you so much. I, um, as I was saying, I want to introduce now the Deputy uh, District Director for Congressman Dale Kildee, Jacob Bennett, with a certificate and flag presentation. Thank you. Well, it, I can honestly say working for the Congressman uh, for almost seven years now, this is probably one of the highlights of my job is being able to present certificates to a lot of these firefighters who do uh, excellent work in our community. And I can say as someone who actually had to call the fire department a few times, there's someone you never want to call, but they're always happy when you guys are there, always professional, and do an excellent job. Now, uh, without further ado, I'd also like to present, I know the congressman uh, wanted me to present this and a flag. I believe the flag already uh, arrived, I think, about last week or so. But I also wanted to uh, present on behalf of the Congressman a certificate of congressional recognition for uh, Battalion Chief Christopher Van Lu, and thank you for everything you do. And now for the memorial service and recognition, once again, I'd like to welcome Saginaw Fire Department Chaplain Bill Howard. Before we begin, I'd, I'd like to reflect on a story about me uh, just for a little bit. But as I see young boys here, how am I? interest in the fire department started about your size and we had I had two two buddies and we'd ride our bikes to the fire station one particular one is where the post office is and we'd always enjoy their stories and we'd go to the store for them and they'd always reward us or give us money to buy treats and one of my first Bicycles was a brand new red Schwinn with handlebars all dressed up. So proud to ride to the fire station. The fireman said, that's a bike, all right, but you should take those fenders off. And we'll show you how to make 
make it make a noise like a motorcycle. So they proceeded to take the fenders off, and they took a part of a deck of cards and they stuck a clothespin in it. I start and they said, "Take it for a ride." I start riding around, and that sound that it made, I was so proud. I got me a motorcycle now. <laughs> I left the fenders at the station. I rode home. Much to my surprise, the brand new bike was not supposed to have the fenders taken off. My parents didn't care whether it sounded like a motorcycle or not. So I had to go back and get it all put back together again. Why do I say that? I say, I see you here. Your father's a firefighter. Maybe it's burned into your heart to become a firefighter. Set your dream. Set your dream and go for it. Be proud. Starts in here and starts with service. Service to the community, service wherever you go. And God's blessing upon you. I'd also like to have the retirees here please stand and let's give them some recognition. The oldest, baldest one in the back is not my father. He's, he's just a, <laughs> a story. He's a pioneer of a fire safety house that many years ago he saw the need and he followed the dream and had a fire safety house built and started the program many years ago. Errol Burton, we thank you. And we invite everyone, Wednesdays and Fridays, McDonald's and Shields, if you want problems solved, come have coffee with us. We're a small group, and we laugh, and we get angry, and when we part, we have a good day. So please come and join us. Anyone? Please do. There's plenty of room. We're in the playroom. I began last year recognizing the retirees that I have attended funeral for, some I have participated and officiated for. So since January of 11 until September of this year, our brothers and sisters that have passed away I read their names. David DeGuise. Thank you. William Fielder. Thomas Hatton. Kenneth Raby. John Wilson. Thomas J. Wagner. Claire Rood. The next names are the spouses who remained on the pension system after their husbands passed away. You youngsters uh, may have heard stories about their husbands, but you may not recognize their name, but some of the pictures are back here in our history. There's Judy Bannon, Rita Bocade, Thelma Clarkson, Luella Gray, Mary Jane Jamrog, Alfreda Roman. Is 13. It matches the line of duty deaths that have occurred in this department since its inception. Before I read those names, I ask your prayers for Battalion Chief Retiree Thomas Kaiser, who is gravely ill at this time. And would you offer up your prayers this day for him and his family? To 
honor our line of duty deaths. William E. Pringle. James Kennefeck. Chief George Wallace. Marcy C. Wilson. John Collier. Eugene Parker. Henry Flack. Paul Jonitz. Earl J. Rock. David D. Casey, Edward J. Thomas, A. William Dijak, Roscoe Hall. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed Rest in peace. Amen. Father, I thank you for this morning and that we give honor. We give honor to these men and women of the Saginaw Fire Department and the citizens for their efforts to support and to carry on this fine tradition. And I thank God for being part of it also. Give you safe travels this day and blessings from above. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. All right, so it says in your program, I think, that I have closing remarks. Um, on behalf of myself, uh, City Manager Darnell Early, who was at the International City Managers Conference, and Deputy uh, city Manager Tim Morales. I want to thank everybody uh, on behalf of the city administration for your presence here, uh, for these men and women's dedication, and for the opportunity to once again honor the men and women of the Saginaw Police Fire Department. You know, when you're the assistant city manager over police and fire, you can never get it straight, it seems like. So every time I start to get police out, I have to bump back to fire. Um, there is refreshments for everybody, and I'm told that if you would like, if you've not had a tour of Station One, uh, you're, you will be provided one of those if you'd like a tour. I'm sure the photographers here have seen that more than once. In fact, I've seen their pictures, so. Um, I don't think we're gonna let anybody slide down the pole, right? Okay. Uh, so for any of the kids that think that they're gonna, or the adults who wanna slide down the pole, you won't be able to do that today. Um, please join us for refreshments and um, avail yourself of a tour. And again, thank you very much for being here. And Terry, again, my personal thanks. And to the men and women who are here, Diane, for singing again. Uh, I miss your singing, Diane. And uh, she used to sing in the clerk's office. You could hear her all the way upstairs in my office. Um, thank you very much, and it's been a great honor. Thank you.